Hey, what is up, folks? Welcome back to another Fish Meat for Dinner episode. We caught a bunch of bowfin today. We already got fillets over here. But, uh, we are going to show you how to fillet a bowfin. It's pretty much like filleting any other fish, except it's more difficult because they're really slimy and you don't really have, like, a real good tail to grab onto since they have kind of this eel like tail. So, by the way, if you guys ever, uh, Throw bass fishing and catch one of these things. They're actually pretty good to eat. You just want to eat them within the first 24 hours of catching them, and you want them to be alive while you fillet them so that their uh, their meat doesn't get real um, like soft. So the first thing you want to do, and by the way, these things are really fun to fight and catch. First thing you want to do, you want to come behind the gill plate. I'm gonna start. And they got really tough skin and scales on them, so you kind of want to score it, score the skin. Just kind of use your whole knife, just score them. And then you can start sawing into them. There you go. You can see here's his spine. You want to get that right parallel with it so that you can make your other run down the spine. Then I like to flip it over, make the same cut on this side. Then get these scales out of the way so you can see. So here's his uh, spine. So you kind of follow that out to about here. Turn your knife. Insert it. Start making your way along. And I go to about here. So maybe like a third of the way down. And then I work this meat back with my knife. And then I stick my knife in, go the other side, you can see now. And then I grab onto this and I kind of rest my hand on his head. And I just work the knife. Try to get as flat as you can. Make sure you got a good grip on everything. And that you're not getting us thin there. go. So then you stick your knife in there and follow the rib cage down and you can see here how I'm keeping it straight with the spine and it's coming out the other side there. I think this is a seven inch blade or something like that. Just keep following that all the way down. And then give her a nice good pull. There you go. See, you got pretty much all the meat off of it. Look at that big old fillet. Now, I start at the tail end. So let's see how the, the like the meat ends. That way, you get as much meat as you can. Put your knife in, turn it, and start working along a flat surface. You can pinch this and hold on tight and you just work your knife along that skin separating the meat from the skin and you can grab onto all of it see how it's it's pretty soft meat like it's not real firm like a walleye that's why you need to uh, eat it within the first 24 hours otherwise it Turns to jelly basically. Big part. See how it's, it's almost. It's real. Almost like oily. And see how I kind of. 
where my knife kind of hung up. Let me start again. There you go, we got another one. And they say that for the best taste to uh, cut it up into like fingers. Um, that way, when you deep fry them, they taste a lot better and they are, uh, become more firm. So there you go, you got little chunks both of them. And you got the skin left over. You could probably make some boots out of them suckers too. Let's go look on the other side here. Flip them. Stick your knife in there. Work down the spine. Separate that meat from the ribs. Make sure, folks, to dispose of your fish guts properly. They start to stink. They get maggots on them. You don't want pissed off neighbors. So put them in a dumpster or make sure that you get them out in your garbage can and to the curb for the buddies to pick up as soon as possible because they stink really bad if you leave them. It almost feels like a jellyfish or like, I don't know, it's weird. But we'll see how it tastes. If you want to know the knife that I'm using, it's a uh, the Fisherman's Solution. It's actually got a really cool feature where you flip this and the blade extends out to a... Uh, I think nine inches. So, say you go on a fillet, like a deer or something, you need more uh, leverage or something, or more blade to work with, then you can extend it out and say you're like filleting like bluegill or perch, you can put it back down and you have less of a knife to work with. So, uh, always make sure to clean your workstation, clean your knives clean yourself and uh, if you got fishy smell on your hands you can use uh, toothpaste with soap and that usually helps get rid of the fishy smell so other than that stay safe I know it's corona craps going on so uh, just don't go by your grandparents house and whatever <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video thanks